to a restaurant that makes some of the best Ethiopian food in the city. Now, it's been a while since I've had Ethiopian food, but I'm really hungry, so let's go eat. Uh, my name is Banchi Kinde. I'm the owner at Rendezvous Restaurant. Rendezvous Restaurant has been serving Toronto for the past 21 years. We are serving Ethiopian and Eritrean authentic food. We specialize on that. Ethiopian food is not something that you just eat, something you have to experience. So this is the Rendezvous platter and there's a whole bunch of meat and vegetables as you can see. We have the legatives and the chacha tibs in the middle and then surrounding it is a bunch of vegetable dishes. So a variety. We got like roasted chickpeas here, we got our lentils, our salads, cabbage and carrots, anything that you want, you can mix it all up together. So what we have here is the injera and it's an Ethiopian bread and basically you can use it to break it off and mix in everything in the platter, mix it all up with the meat and the veggies and it's completely gluten free and it's really good for your gut too. So let's get some injera. This is like, this is your utensil to eat basically. So I took a piece. I'm gonna take some of the cha-cha tibs and I'm gonna mix it up. Let's get some beetroot in there. Oh my goodness, I'm a mess. <laughs> it's okay, you eat with your hands. And let's get a bunch of different things. I got some lentils and stuff as well. Okay, I'm gonna take a big bite of this. It has a bunch of little things in there. Ethiopian food is a quite different from other cooking. Ethiopians, we don't use uh, frying food, so we don't fry food at all. We caramelized and we stew. If you see the Ethiopian uh, food um, served at rendezvous, the plate is very colorful. You see yellow, green, uh, red from beets, green from colored green or spinach, and you see cabbage, potatoes, lentils, split peas, chickpeas, you name it, you find it all. We are having Ethiopian coffee with Tiana. Uh, well, Tiana, first time having Ethiopian coffee? I've had it once before. Very yeah. nice. The first place of coffee is Ethiopia, as you all know. And we roast the Ethiopian coffee beans. We brought it out for Tiana, so she grabbed the aroma. Now I'm about to put the coffee. I'm burning frankincense here to create a very warm atmosphere around the household. And uh, we are about to have the coffee. During coffee ceremony, we freshly popcorn will be served on the table. And here's Tiana, have some popcorn. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, growing up, I grew up in a big family and my dad was appointed and uh, so he has so much uh, gatherings and meetings around the house. So my mom and her help always, they are cooking around the house. I am the oldest daughter in the house and I was following my mom's footsteps and I always cook around the house. My cooking was appreciated by uh, my brothers, uh, my mom, especially my dad. He loves where, the way I cook and that gives me just a confidence to cook around the house following my mom's. Cooking became natural to me. I wanted to pursue that. I want to make it a career, so that's what it is. The Rendezvous is one of the first uh, restaurants on Danforth. I've been in the, uh, on Danforth for about 21 years now. Bringing uh, Rendezvous to Danforth and serving the community is bringing Ethiopia to the city of Toronto for me. So you see our face, you try our food. So we take you halfway to Ethiopia. So I am the ambassador for that and I am really happy about it.